Good morning, everybody. I just realized I probably didn't really end the vlog last night. Um, yeah, so we went home and we basically all just went to bed. We were so tired. We didn't get home until close to midnight, right? Yeah, and it was just crazy. But the reason why we were there for so long is because um, the doctor wanted to run an EKG. She wanted to check my gallbladder. She wanted to check my kidney functioning and all that stuff. She wanted to check, um, what else did she do? They took a bunch of blood. I had to do a CTG. I mean, they were really giving me the works and I guess that's good, you know? Um, it's times like this that I'm, I'm really, really, really thankful that we have the insurance that we have because I, if I'm afraid or if I'm scared or if I'm nervous, I can just go to the ER and it doesn't cost us hundreds and hundreds of dollars or anything. It just, it's, it doesn't cost us anything and it doesn't change our, um, how much we pay every month, does it? No. So it's, um, it was just good to have the peace of mind that at least everything is okay with the baby. I still, this morning, I feel totally bruised from on my belly like if I touch it it's really it feels just like a massive bruise but the pulling and the stretching and all of that like the tearing that I felt last night that's gone so um, I guess that's good and I still feel I feel Linnea moving and stuff so I guess I guess she the doctor was right I mean the doctor suggested that maybe she was just kind of like beating me up from the inside and that kind of what it's really what it felt like so maybe that's <laughs> really what happened <laughs> She's gonna come out with arms swinging, huh? Probably. <laughs> She's like, well, I gotta keep up with my big brother. So, I'm telling you, I've said all along, this girl's a tough little, little. she's a tough miss. Um, definitely a force to be reckoned with. So she's gonna give this one back here a definite run for his money. So I love her. I love her little feisty personality. That's one of my favorite things about Callum. I just love how, um, I mean, it's, it's a special kind of, of challenge, parenting a strong-willed child, because obviously it's it's easier for the parent when you've got a really easy-go-lucky, easy-go-lucky, just happy kid all the time. And Callum is not that kid. He's he's a happy kid, but he's very, very strong-willed and determined, and he does what he wants to do, and getting him to do otherwise is, hmm, it's hard. Even if she's super, strong-willed like her big brother I, I have I feel like I have a pretty good idea on how to parent that child because that's all I know <laughs> I am not easy-go-lucky I'm very strong-willed I don't know how you are I don't know how I would what I would call you uh, fantastic. <laughs> well obviously but I don't know I mean you're I think you're more go with the flow uh, to a certain degree to a certain degree if we have plans or something and the plans change at all that's when you get upset uh, so you you're very organized uh, but I don't think but in general you're more go with the flow I would say so no so Roman is definitely outnumbered you you're <laughs> You're fulfilling the German cliche. <laughs> you are though, you're very German in that way. I think of the two of us, I am definitely more, okay, I'm more spontaneous. If the plans change, they change, let it go. But Roman is more, I'm more go with the flow that way, but Roman is definitely more, no, we need a plan. And uh, when that doesn't work out, it's, it's tough. It's tough for him. And it's tough for me sometimes, because I'm like, I don't get it. You know, like of course plans change, life happens. But I can understand his need for structure. I, I get it. It definitely makes things easier when you know what you're doing. We are in the town trying to trying to find a parking spot. This is life of Germany. Living in Germany on a Saturday. All the parking spots are full and as you can see there aren't very many spots. I need to get a new um, passport photo because I have um, my immigration appointment. got it dude god you're so good how do you do this you have such you have serious parking skills oh my gosh Roman just manhandles every parking spot that there is this is his strength man I don't know if I could here now I don't know are we in a fire zone 
Oh, it starts right there. It starts there. Mm. Here, why don't you look, honey? Park in Park Shine Automat over there. Just get one just to be on the safe side. Yeah. Anyways, I have to get a new passport photo, but I have to get my my uh, residence permit um, renewed. So that's happening next week, and I have to get a new photo for that. Say hi. You ready to get out? Okay. First things first. Look at all the stuff at the German bakeries. Mm. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Amazing. I think this is really nice. Oh, we have some music. How special. Isn't it romantic, Roman? Oh, look at this little couple. They're just holding hands, arm in arm. Precious. We're here at the, um, the eyeglasses store and Roman is getting some new glasses. So he, he's needed some. But I'm entertaining Callum. Hmm? Yeah, this is fun, huh? I see you. I see you. <laughs> Come go. Ah, uh, look at yourself, you silly boy. Ah, uh, uh, oh. go. Say hi. <laughs> Say hello. Uh, bye -bye. <laughs> yeah, bye -bye. He's getting his eyes checked. Bye -bye. Papa's getting his eyes checked. Bye -bye. You want to shed some light on uh, what the <laughs> lady at the glasses store said? I got from uh, 1, 125 to 2, 225. Okay, wait. So one, wait, 1.25? Yeah. Okay, the 2.25. So you wait, you were 125 and now you're 2. Because those glasses are 1 and 1.0 and 1.25. Uh-huh. Those are at least 12 years old. That's crazy. We're getting it worked out. <laughs> Jeez. Get crazy with it. <laughs> we're Skyping with Lala and Matt. Get wild, Callum. <laughs> Oh jeez. So many beads. He's like kind of like playing. With I know. <laughs> Goofy. We came home so Callum could take a nap, and now we're about to head on out. And Roman said, "Callum, get your shoes." And Callum was just sort of walking around for a little bit. He knows that his shoes are right here, but he ended up going into his room and bringing out his Dutch clogs. <laughs> oh, that was so funny. <laughs> Callum, are these your shoes? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was too cute. We're home. Just enjoying our Saturday night. Callum's munching on a few little animal crackers. He calls them cookies. <laughs> I guess they are cookies. We had a pretty much relaxing dinner. It was pretty, it was okay. We had just leftovers, so it was pretty easy for me. And we cleaned up, put the toys away. I cook Monday, no, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Friday, we usually do something fun for dinner, like take out or just something fun um, that we don't do during the week and then um, and then Saturday is usually leftover day and usually we'll get lettuce and stuff and make a salad with it but um, we're usually just cleaning out what we've already cooked <laughs> that's sitting in the fridge that needs to get eaten so that was that was our meal tonight so we have like rice with broccoli and we had um, like le leftover lentils and just just stuff. 
And I like that because then it's like you don't feel like you're wasting food. You're using everything you're, that you cook and it makes me feel good. Roman's working on his thesis. He's just reading and editing. Callum and I are hanging out. Yep, close it. Good job. Blue. Yeah. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. <laughs> Going on a trip. Going on a trip. <laughs> I bye-bye. You're going bye-bye? He said I bye-bye. I bye-bye. Are you going on a trip? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Callum and Roman are off to bed and I'm going to get some editing done. I'm a little bit off schedule because we were in the hospital last night, but um, I feel good now that it's the end of the day. I still feel super bruised, but I don't feel, I don't feel the tearing and stretching and stuff. So I guess, I guess homegirl has decided to calm down a little bit, which I much appreciate. But oh my gosh, it really does feel so bruised. It's crazy. I mean, it was so funny because in the ultrasound, we just saw her like beating me up. And I kept thinking, oh my gosh, she's tough. <laughs> We're good. We're good. All right. I'm going to go ahead and edit the vlog. So we will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.